In the world of agriculture, the journey from seed to harvest is only part of the story. Once crops have been harvested, the focus shifts to what happens next. Welcome to our comprehensive guide on post-harvest technologies, a crucial aspect of maximizing your harvest. In this video, we will explore various techniques and innovations that can help ensure your crops maintain their quality, minimize waste, and ultimately increase your profits. Whether you're a small-scale farmer or part of a larger agricultural enterprise, understanding post-harvest technologies can make a significant difference in your yield success. Let's start by discussing the importance of post-harvest management. After harvesting, crops are vulnerable to spoilage, pest infestations, and quality degradation. Proper post-harvest practices can extend the shelf life of produce, preserve nutritional value, and enhance marketability. In fact, studies show that up to 30% of harvested crops can be lost due to inadequate post-harvest handling. This not only affects farmers' income, but also contributes to food insecurity. By implementing effective post-harvest technologies, we can reduce these losses and ensure that food reaches consumers in the best possible condition. Now, let's dive into the various stages of post-harvest management. The first step after harvesting is sorting and grading. This process involves separating crops based on size, quality, and ripeness. Uniformity in size and quality is crucial for marketability, as consumers often prefer aesthetically pleasing produce. Sorting can be done manually or with the help of technology, such as automated grading machines. These machines use advanced sensors and cameras to assess the quality of each item, ensuring that only the best products make it to market. Investing in such technology can save time and labor while increasing the overall quality of your harvest. Once crops are sorted, the next step is cleaning and washing. This is especially important for fruits and vegetables as dirt and residues can affect their appearance and safety. Washing not only removes contaminants, but can also enhance the visual appeal of produce. However, it's essential to use clean water and appropriate cleaning agents to avoid introducing harmful substances. For larger operations, commercial washing systems can streamline this process, ensuring efficiency and consistency. After cleaning, the focus shifts to storage. Proper storage conditions are vital for maintaining the freshness and quality of harvested crops. Temperature, humidity, and airflow all play critical roles in determining how long produce can be stored without spoiling. For many fruits and vegetables, refrigeration is necessary to slow down the ripening process and extend shelf life. However, not all crops require refrigeration and some may even suffer for from cold damage. Understanding the specific storage needs of each crop is essential for effective post-harvest management. In addition to refrigeration, controlled atmosphere storage is an innovative technology that can significantly enhance the storage life of produce. This method involves adjusting the levels of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and humidity within the storage environment to slow down respiration and ripening. By creating an optimal atmosphere, farmers can extend the shelf life of their crops, reduce spoilage, and maintain quality. This technology is particularly beneficial for long-distance shipping and can help farmers reach markets that were previously inaccessible. Another crucial aspect of post-harvest management is packaging. The way crops are packaged can greatly impact their marketability and shelf life. Packaging should protect the produce from physical damage, contamination, and moisture loss, while also being visually appealing to consumers. Sustainable packaging options are becoming increasingly popular as consumers are more environmentally conscious than ever. Biodegradable materials, reusable containers, and minimalistic designs can not only attract buyers, but also align with modern values of sustainability. Transportation is another critical phase in the post-harvest process. The journey from farm to market can expose crops to various stresses, including temperature fluctuations and physical damage. It's essential to use appropriate transportation methods that maintain optimal conditions for the produce. Refrigerated trucks, for example, are commonly used to transport perishable items over long distances. Additionally, training drivers on best practices for handling produce during transit can help minimize losses and ensure that crops arrive at their destination in peak condition. As we explore post-harvest technologies, we cannot overlook the role of digital tools in enhancing efficiency and effectiveness. 
Data management systems can help farmers track inventory, monitor storage conditions, and analyze market trends. By leveraging data, farmers can make informed decisions about when to sell their crops, how to price them, and how to manage their resources. Mobile apps and platforms that connect farmers with buyers can also streamline the sales process, reducing the time and effort required to reach consumers. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in value-added processing as a post-harvest strategy. Instead of selling crops in their raw form, farmers can explore options for processing their produce into jams, sauces, or dried goods. This not only provides an opportunity for higher profit margins, but also helps reduce waste by utilizing crops that may not meet market standards for fresh produce. Value-added products can open new markets and provide consumers with unique offerings, making it a win-win for both farmers and buyers. Education and training are also vital components of successful post-harvest management. Farmers must be equipped with the knowledge and skills to implement best practices and utilize available technologies. Workshops, online courses, and extension services can provide valuable resources and support for farmers looking to enhance their post-harvest processes. Collaborating with agricultural experts and organizations can also help farmers stay updated on the latest innovations and trends in post-harvest technologies. As we wrap up our discussion on post-harvest technologies, it's important to remember that every farm is unique. The strategies and technologies that work for one operation may not be suitable for another. Therefore, farmers must assess their specific needs, resources, and market conditions when developing their post-harvest management plans. By tailoring their approaches, farmers can maximize their harvests and ensure that their hard work pays off. In conclusion, post-harvest technologies play a crucial role in the agricultural supply chain. By implementing effective practices and leveraging innovative solutions, farmers can reduce losses, maintain quality, and increase profitability. From sorting and cleaning to storage and transportation, each step in the post-harvest process presents opportunities for improvement. As we move forward, let's continue to explore new technologies and practices that can help us maximize our harvests and contribute to a more sustainable food system. Thank you for joining us on this journey through post-harvest technologies. Remember, the work doesn't end at harvest. It's just the beginning.